All right, so this is Bree from Breezy Special Ed, and I just wanted to give you a video preview of one of my community unit, units. This is the restaurant unit um, for special education. So I like to use these when I am preparing for a field trip. We usually spend a few weeks preparing before we actually go on one, um, and this packet makes it super easy to do that. So, um, first you'll see everything that's included, um, just kind of let you know where to find everything. Um, so first I have um, bingo boards, so there's 15, 10 of them have symbols, and then five of them just have words. If you're working on um, some of your students recognizing the words, you can use those. And then I have um, some calling cards that can also double as vocab cards. Um, we put these in a pocket chart up in front of my room as we're learning the words and getting familiar with um, what these mean. So they kind of double as both, which is really nice. Okay, And then I also have a letter that you can send home to the parents to kind of give them the words you're working on and, sorry, and tell them what field trip you're going on. Um, so just kind of lets parents be involved and gives them something to work on at home and then I usually also send home um, the logo of the restaurant we are going to as well. Okay, um, And then there's just a few random worksheets to kind of um, work on concepts that you're probably already working on in the classroom, but then this has like our field trip theme, so it just makes it more fun for the students. Um, see there's one on behaviors, which is important, that can... Um, lead to great instruction, great role modeling, you know, good things to practice. Um, here's just a couple other of the worksheets, talk about different types of meals and what you might eat at those meals, okay? Um, so then here we have the story, eating at a restaurant. Um, so here's just a big version. These are two pages. I know it kind of looks like one right now, but they're, it's two different pages. Um, so this is just a good story to review to put in your classroom library. And then in addition to the large story, there is a smaller version, a coloring book type thing. So you can cut this apart, staple it together. Each of your students can have one, and I usually make it a following direction thing, um, like... When I'm at my table, I look at the menu to choose what I want. Color the menu blue. What do you look at? You know, kind of um, make it interactive like that. Okay. Um, and then this here next is um, one of our little games we play. So, um, for example, I'd hold on to all the white ones and give everyone the gray ones and then ask who has the match. If I see this sign, I will, you know, who has um, the right response. Or you could play it as a matching game um, like memory or even cut and paste and have students glue the correct ones together. So lots of different options there. Um, and then here is just a simple uh, social story which has been great. Some of my students like love having this with them when they go on a community trip just kind of um, reminds them what we're doing, what their expectations are. Okay and that is it. So I hope you enjoyed this video preview. Um, there's lots of other community unions, units. You can see some right here. If you want to check those out, you can go to my store. Um, so I'm just going to take you to my store right here because that brought you specifically to that one. Okay. Planning a community trip. Click here to check out these units. And then you can check out all those units. If you're going on a community trip and I do not have a unit for you, let me know. I would love to make one. Um, so, yeah, that's that, and that's my community units. Thanks for watching. Bye.